and welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. Today I'm in Braun, Germany, back at Tropical Islands, and I want to use this opportunity to focus on the idea of the indoor outdoors. And of course, if you have a chance to visit Tropical Islands just outside of Berlin, you know that this is a massive space, a site of a former airship hangar that has been converted into a tropical paradise with theming, a rainforest where you could feel the actual humidity, and even a beach as we'll see. And what I want to focus on is this idea of how a space can achieve a sense of the outdoors inside. And there are, I think, few places like this around the world. We could think of Dubai and indoor skiing places, but uh, there are very few places in the world that can claim this level of monumentality in terms of being able to simulate an outdoor space inside. So let me take you through some of the reflections that I had during my visit to tropical islands and we'll focus more closely here on the idea of bringing the outdoors inside. You can see here just how extensive um, the theming is. Here we have um, Flamingo in this uh, small pond here and I was reading that the um, there's a full staff of um, garden specialists who've created a lot of the um, the gardens here and there's a horticulture team and so forth so very very extensive so as we walk through we get a sense of just the um, enormous scale of tropical islands and uh, other than looking upwards uh, at which point of course you see the very obvious uh, structure um, you could have a sense with the humidity and uh, the plants and theming in here that you were uh, truly outdoors. I guess we have taken account the concrete, but for practicality's sake, um, probably a good compromise. And here um, you can see um, in this particular feature, uh, Woods of the World, uh, it appears that Tropical Islands is trying to pay some homage to museums and spaces that would feature um, an educational focus as presumably younger people can appreciate um, by touching here what the um, different woods of the world feel like. And as you can see in these examples, the tropical islands, they've done a miraculous job in terms of creating an indoor ecosystem. It also does remind me to some extent of a space I visited years ago in Galveston, just south of Houston, which was an um, indoor butterfly exhibit. This is quite amazing when you think about how they've created so many different um, ecological zones within this space, as you can see here as I'm touring on the day of my visit. So let's take a moment here to uh, check out the uh, Regen Tour. The rainforest. Oh, this is, uh, as you can see here, we have some um, explorer type um, garb here uh, as part of the signage. As you can see here, not unlike a zoo, we have um, various signage that describes the um, flora and fauna here at um, Tropical Islands. And of course, one of the main features that I think attracts people to this amazing indoor-outdoor space is their recreated beach. And indeed, if you walk on the beach, it's real sand, and uh, the water, of course, is, is fresh and clean, and it just gives you another sense of how they've created a space that defies, I think, imagination. And here, with our final look at tropical islands, you'll see they've actually created another space that we typically associate with the outdoors, and this is the world of camping. As you can see in these tents uh, just to our left, which are uh, perched on this uh, extension of the beach. So again, I think they create a sensibility 
that we're outside even though we're under this massive dome. I hope you've enjoyed this video feature and you will come back and listen to additional video features where I focus on spaces like tropical islands and many other themed and immersive spaces from around the world.